Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins where I have been organizing. And I just noticed with Ogren, apparently... Oh, wait, okay. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. I was on his other weapon set. I was like, he doesn't have, like, anything on. I was, like, really confused. But that's because, for some reason, I have him on his second weapon set. Uh, he's been using Ageless. Whew. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So I was gonna compare it. Um, I can't use these daggers. I tossed a couple of plain daggers. Um, unless I start putting stuff into dexterity, of which I have nothing. Pretty sure. Then, yeah, I don't know. But these are one-handed weapons. Except for this one, but I like Ageless. It's awesome. But Faith's Edge has runes you can put in it. Um, so I was thinking I might store that one. And that's a one-handed too, but it's pretty good. 95% fire resistance. Yeah, so I was thinking I was going to store those. This is plus four damage versus dark spawn, but Ageless has a billion other things, and it's better in general. Oh, of course, it's a maul. So the armor penetration is really good, but I think I'm going to... I have a little list. I'm just writing up things I'm going to store. I think I'm going to store Faith's Edge, Forge Master, Trains Maul, and Spear Thrower, because Leliana's bow is way better than anything those guys have. Um, I'm pretty sure Zev... Can he use those? Oh, right, but I was... Um, where is it? I mean, the one he... Duncan's dagger is really good. And it does plus 10 damage versus dragons, which I don't think I noticed the first time. But the dead tide shanker interrupts spell casting, which is really cool. So, and it's a little bit better. So I might keep the daggers around, but I, but I do want to go fight the dragon, so I'm like, well, maybe I will keep Duncan's daggers then. And Thorn of the Dead Gods is awesome looking. It's not, oh wait, uh, it's a little bit better, but again, the, the damage stuff I've got going on seems to be better. Um, let's see, do you need a better, what do you have on the Sailor's Charm? 10% electricity resistance? No. Nature resistance, but minus one dexterity, minus one constitution? Uh, we'll give that a try, I guess. We could give, oh, I, I looked at Morrigan because I gave her the, um, she has blood mage, but this is plus four spell power, but mental resistance and willpower is good. Mental resistance especially. Um, let's see if we can... Does she wear... Um, I mean, it looks like she could. Uh, eh. I mean, it looks okay. It's not bad. What was it? Robes of Possession? Plus 5 magic, 12 defense, 8 spell resistance, 20 cold damage. I think the Robes of Possession are better, and she just looks good in those. Let's see, we've, we gave her the Silk Weave Gloves. We could give her different boots. I don't think I have any leather boots. But, that's okay. Um, what do these do? Regeneration, armor, spell power. I think I am going to keep those around. Okay, let's check out my big guys. Oh, I could give... Oh, let's see if Ogryn can... I don't think Ogryn can, actually. I don't think he has enough. Yeah, he can't wear the armor. Oh, this is so 
confusing sometimes the way this is set up. Nope, we'll toss that. Um, he could wear that one. Oh, wow! Can we level him up? I don't know. Oh, golly, he looks ridiculous. Uh, oh, we can. All right, then. Oh, my gosh. Wow, six points. Oh, we don't have Reaver yet? Oh, but we do have Champion, and that is what I wanted to give Alistair. Um... Oh, wait. Um. So, mm, maybe because I know he needs one index. He's gonna need more in dexterity eventually. Let's see what that gives us. Uh, forty strength. <laughs> Jeez, that dexterity. I mean, he can't. I mean, he I mean, he could use these, but he doesn't. Probably wouldn't do the archery. Oh, but I have two points. Jeez. Okay. Precise strike. I don't know about that. Um. Well, it looks like basically I could give him these two abilities. Two-handed sweep, that's a good one. And critical strike. Yeah, we'll just we'll give him that. Um, let's get everybody leveled up. Do you need dexterity? I don't know. Uh, well, let's just... Oh, ah, ah. Okay. Um... I don't really know what to get you, Shell. Okay, we can do that. And then... Saw, my puppy puppy. Let's put... That. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Liliana. We just throw a bunch into. Uh, I don't know exactly what she needs. I can't remember. I know she needs she needs dexterity, but she also needs cunning. Uh, maybe we should throw a couple into cunning. Um, we could get her that, or... Oh! Could get her that, that'd be good. Or we could finally do the duelist thing. Oh! Require master combat training. I don't really want that. I don't like sustained abilities so much. Oh, well, it would be nice to get the master archer. Um, or... Let's do that one. Morgan, it has been a while. Uh, uh, willpower? No. Yeah. Oh, I have. Oh, I have six. Okay. Okay, we'll throw one into there. And then one on each one of those. Yay! Yeah. 
So these last two abilities would be really cool. Or we could... have Paralyze or the Affliction. Oh, wow. Whew. But friendly fire is possible. We ain't doing that then. Curse. Inaccuracy. Um, we could do paralyzed mana drain would maybe be nice. Or I could get her, yeah, I should probably get her that. Bonus to staff, met to stuff, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of want to work my way down the Blood Mage line. And get her those two. Or should I just, could I get her these two? Yeah. Uh, no. We'll get her that one. And work our way down. Um, and then who's... Zevran, he has six points. I know he needs a lot in dexterity. Uh, cunning. You might need 22 in cunning to make a difference in anything. Um. I could get in the second level of lock picking. <sighs> or. So I got him lethality. That's good. Combat movement. Make backstabs easier to achieve. Okay. That one's really good. Oh, oh no, we didn't want to do that. We were gonna just wait. Ooh, right. Um, I did kind of want to do that. And that, he can, he can't have, he can't? How much dexterity does he have? He doesn't have 36 dexterity. Oh my gosh, he does. Um, but I'll be dang, this would be nice. Yeah. Wow. I was actually really kind of wanting to get him that. But these are both passive abilities. Um, I suppose I could wait... That's really cool. Uh, let's try that one. Sten, six points. Pretty sure 42 is the most you're gonna need. Um, Or wait, no, was it? It might have been like 46 for some of them. Dexterity is like 22. Let's see. Oh, so he's gonna need way higher dexterity to get. Oh, wait, uh, that's dual weapon. Archery. He didn't have any. Yeah, specialization points. Okay, constitution. So. We're good on those. And then these... Looks like he's good on those. Uh, I 
I think he has expert combat training. I get him that one too. Um, what was that one? Right. Um. Ah. Okay. Wait. What does that one do? Whoa. That's really cool. Yeah, we'll we'll do we'll go with that though. Ween! She still has a specialization point because I have no idea. I mean I could give her Arcane Warrior and then give her the ability to have armor on, but I don't want to give her armor, so I'm like, meh. Um Yeah, good. I think that's okay. Petrify, or we could. We've got all the healing. Yeah, we got all the her specializations done. We've got all that done. Um. I don't want to have something that makes my talents and stuff cost more to activate. Maybe I should give her mana drain. Or spell shield. And um, what's that one? Oh right. I don't that that would get me though. Oh, that's not very good. Uh. Huh. Hmm. I mean, I'd like to kind of just keep her in the creation thing, but... I could do that. Yeah, let's give her that. And then... Um... Maybe we should look at spirit stuff. The telekinetic weapon seems pretty cool, but she's already got a lot of sustained abilities. I do need to take some off. Uh, oh, geez. That, that drains her mana, though. That's not good. And that would be nice-ish. Friendly fire, possible. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll give her mana drain. Okay, just Alistair's left. And he has a- we're gonna give him champion, that's right. Champion. Strength. Constitution. The dexterity and strength again? Champion. Is that a fearsome cry that gives nearby enemies penalty to attack? Oh, that's cool. Uh, gives present, inspires nearby allies, giving them bonuses to attack and defense. Okay. Well, let's see, what do we have? What, oh, well, I was like, what the heck? Um, okay. 26 dexterity. But dealing reduced damage with each hit. So I should probably work on my big guy's dexterity now. Oh, that's a sustained ability. I don't really want that. I 
would like to get that. So, but we'll we'll get a couple of the champion abilities then. Cool. All right. Well, that's everybody upgraded now. So now we can properly do this stuff. Um. is so difficult. I do want to store the Warden Commander stuff. I think... Oh, do I? Cause, no, because I was using the, the Drake Skin stuff. Okay, so we'll keep the Drake Skin stuff. Uh, but let's see if Ogren at this point... What is it? He needs 42 strength. What does he have? Oh, I should have checked that. That was something I should have checked. He's got 41! Freaking awesome. Okay, I knew 42. I knew it. I don't know why I didn't give him 42. Oh well. Let's see, this was this was the one I had him. Yeah, uh we'll we'll toss that. He could wear that, but it doesn't have as cool a thing. Dwarven massive armored gloves compared. Um, can he wear? Can't wear the. Oh my gosh, we're. So, I'm so mad at myself. I should have paid attention. All right, I'm gonna probably store the chevalier boots. Um. Let's see. Does I don't think. Yeah, his is his is good. And uh Liliana Yeah, no. Uh, we'll get rid of that. And then let's see, Sten I think can wear all of it, basically. Um but yeah, I mean, why the Juggernaut plate armor is just freaking awesome. Dwarven massive armor, n no. Maybe I'll store. Well, okay, let's check Alistair. Alistair. No, be the best. Uh, no. Um. Let's see, hang on. What is Ogren? wearing he's wearing the armor of diligence okay sorry that's gonna have to go I think I'm gonna store the heavy plate I think let's see oh it's better but and I do have one of those already so I won't worry about it Kadesh stompers they require 22 strength. Who is it that... Wow. 2 dexterity, 2 armor, range critical chance, melee critical chance, increases hostility. So, who would I give that to? Um. No, he doesn't have enough strength for these. Okay. Oh, um. They're a little better. Well, let's see, what's his. Oh, okay. Oh, right, because he didn't have the armor bonus anyway. Okay. Let's see, I mean, he. I could have him wearing the. the other things. That didn't make make any sense. I lost track of what I was saying. My bad. Um, I do need to make more of those. Uh, let's sell that. That. Um, I'll keep that, I guess. And then. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with these. Like, I don't want to sell them. 
Can I store them? I don't think I can store them either. Store book? Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay, so I've almost got, I got the top cider pommel, top cider hill. Oh, what does it say? The hilt of a fine elven sword. A partial inscription glows faintly in the presence of Lyrian, but remains unreadable. I do want to finish that, too. There were some pretty interesting quests in the, like, side quests in the basement, the deep roads, whatever. What do I have in junk? Quite a bit. Not, well, not, not too much, really, but I do want to do that, so let's say it again really quick. Okay. Oh, and I do got to do the, uh, enchantment pranks. Yes, I do want some enchanting Enchantment! Done. Okay. Wait, uh. I have a lot, okay. And I think, okay, I took that away, the, oh wait, that's the master paralyzed room? Or the expert? Which one's better? I think master is. Master Paralyzed Rune. And then I have the Master Dwemer Rune. Plus four damage versus dark spawn, spell resistance, electricity damage. Let's do damage versus dark spawn. And then equipped by Zev, Sten, Alistair, and I don't think anybody else has any. Um, oh, and I'll probably store, oh, I didn't check Alistair's, um, one-handed weapons thingies. Pretty sure that he's, what's he got? He's got, Alistair has Duncan's sword. Three willpower, three cunning, stamina regeneration. Yeah, I just, I, I wouldn't mind giving that to, what's his name? Zev, but he doesn't have the strength requirement, I don't think. So, maybe I need to work on strength and dexterity for him. I need to remember these things. It's kind of a long time between daily wops though between leveling up so so he has the expert paralyzed rune and the, the spell resistance one which is good we'll uh, we'll leave him on that one Alistair novice hail rune and the novice cold iron rune um, we'll keep him with the physical resistance but Maybe we should give him dark spawn damage too, or I could upgrade his damage to the undead. Um, I'll give him the damage versus dark spawn. Yeah, Severan, Severan, Master Slow Rune and Journeyman Cold. Novice Silverite, Novice Undead, so, um, we could do another, plus four damage to the Undead, Master Lightning Rune, uh, we could give him a Paralysis one. And then spell resistance. Maybe we'll do spell resistance. Okay. That looks good to me. 
Alright, let's make sure... Oh, what? Oh, no. Sorry, not right. Not yet, Zevran. Alistair... Wow. Do 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 do. Uh, uh, maybe I should toss the war axe. It doesn't. It doesn't have any other bonuses. Um. Willpower, cunning, and I mean it's nice, but it's not great, you know. So I'll probably store that one too. I mean, let me know what you guys think for sure. I mean, I am playing pretty far ahead at this point, but we'll we'll do what we can. Um, yeah, it looks good to me. Hmm. Let's double check the staff really quick. Pretty sure that my girls are good, but we can double check. Corrupted Magister staff. Oh, and I can probably. Oh, I forgot to check the shields for what's his name. Alistair. Okay, but he has like what Kaylin's shield, I think. So. You no. Know. Torn from the bony armor of some colossal animal. Mm. Oh, he has the Red Cliff Elite shield on? Where's the other? Oh, I have Kaylin's shield. That's right. Maybe I should give it back to him. Bronca's shield. Ooh, that's pretty good. Defense is lower. And everything else is lower. It just has nice bonuses. Let's uh, toss that and toss that. Uh, we'll check out. We'll see what we want Shale to be. Um, store Ruck's shield and Bronca's shield, I guess. Just because it's got a name. But... Morgan. Okay. Do do um. Win. See, she's got a ton of like damage bonuses and resistance. Yeah, maybe I'll store the staffs. Staves. Okay. Shale. What have you got on right now? Gotta go all the way to the top. Small, clear ice crystal. But these are flawless. Does 2 armor penetration, 10% critical back damage, and 22.5 cold damage, but it converts all damage to cold damage. Or we could do fire, which probably does the same thing, except does fire damage. Oh, plus 3%, plus 4 all weapon damage. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool looking. Plus 4 constitution and 8 health regen. Wow. Okay. Dexterity at 6 attack. Uh, wait, um... As you hold this crystal close to your ear, you can hear a crackling and humming sound deep within. I love the text. It's so cool. Um, well, let's do the, the constitution one, I think. Although nature damage depends... Everything's weak to fire, you know? So it's like... Uh... Maybe if we go back to the deep roads after this... We should maybe do fire damage. We'll we'll 
stick with fire damage for now. And you have the spirit one on. Oh, large flawless light. What does that do? 40% electricity resistance, 10% to dodge. A chance to dodge. What am I sure to take? Blah, blah, blah. Do we have any? Oh, we do. Um, what is. Two armor, 30% nature resistance, 10% physical resistance. Okay, let's, uh, we'll sell that one and keep that one. 40% nature resistance, 50% physical resistance. Plus one to all attributes, 4% spares of whoa, leaving you strangely ill at ease. Okay. Ooh, cool. Okay. All right, let's um, let's sell the junk. Eat. If there's anything I can do, I'm wish. sure you'll be pleased. Sell all my junk, and then I'm gonna go store things. You don't have any. Um. I mean, I could just, uh. I have a lot of money. Oh, did I, I put the. Should I do that? I feel like they're getting more expensive. One point. I, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, he will always have the distillation agents and the flasks. I feel like we're okay on flasks and distillation agents. We just need the other things. Um. Oh, I can buy junk from him? Or is this mine? Is this stuff... Oh, it is stuff I've sold to him. Let me actually, um... I will buy quartz and greenstone. And let me go test out selling those over here. Do I have to- did I need to talk to you more? At your command, Warden. Or is Amar's finest uh, or eager- you sure you're up for it? <laughs> we'll be fine, as long as the ground hasn't forgotten how to shake. Okay. At your command, Warden. Or is Amar- Keep Don't worry about ready. that. And At your command, Warden. Outfitting- Gems would serve the most utility. Middle the middle stones. stone, sapphires and the like. We're dealing with many small- Okay. I'm not quite sure, though. Oh, I could turn in runes. Give all unassigned novice runes. Wait. Such a force has not been seen. Okay, so now I gotta sell those back to this guy. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. I'm sure. Okay. Hmm. A garnet, maybe? Lure spoon. I sold him that? Oh, it doesn't really have anything useful. Okay, let's try the garnet. Where'd it go? Garnet. Uh, we'll, we'll buy one for now. Or two, whatever. Uh, no, apparently not. Okay.
Yeah, you look so good. Are you sure I can't interest you? Yeah, I'm yeah. Pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Suck. I'm losing money here. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna save. On top of that, and then we're gonna run over to the Soldier's Peak. Um, actually, let's buy a couple of pranks. Should I should I buy a couple of pranks? This has been a long video. I don't know if anybody will Enchantment? see it. Enchantment? Nope. Let me see what other goods Oh, shut up. Let's buy some pranks. Um. Shoo. Uh, <laughs> not sure which ones are pranks at this point. Um. A butterfly sword. Okay, let's buy the uncrushable pigeon. The chastity belt. A cat lady's hobble stick. Uh. So, I guess we're going to be taking Zevran, Shale, and... <laughs> Amulet of Memories Stick Um Ugly Boots for Liliana Okay uh, Completed that quest Okay, well I guess let's go uh, oh, do do I? Let's see. Give them to them in here. Let's see. Um, shale, I have an uncrushable pigeon for you. What? Is that on his? Is that on him now? I know he doesn't. Okay, he doesn't like it. But the point is, I'm supposed to be able to give him that. And then, or she, she, she will like that. But apparently you're also supposed to be able to, like, when you leave. Why, thank you so much. <laughs> when you leave, something is supposed to happen for some of them. <gasps> he didn't say anything. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see. Zevran has approved 51. Okay. Yes. Shale. And Lady. Indeed. Uh, Soldier's Peak. I know I could go, I'll go back and buy the other gifts, the ones that are for them. And it'll just bring us back up to even Steven. Okay, so it looks like they hate me and nothing funny happened. I might actually, okay, actually, I'm gonna go back and just make sure I did that right. <laughs> I'll say, okay, so it kind of looks like they stack or something. I'm not sure, like, I should probably buy the, um. You and your friends are formidable cor folk, indeed. Corresponding. Um. Like happy gift like um so if i buy the ugly boots uncrushable and the chastity belt but then what do they want that goes opposite of those. Okay, hold on. Let's, um, well, I'd rather do the pranks first because then you can get, you know, you can get the, uh, get the whole points back because if, like, I give the happiness to them now, they're already practically full and then I do the minus 50 thing and that's gonna screw me over. Um, unless I do, like, the you know, cake or thoughtful gift thing or whatever. 
Um, let's see. Uh, so apparently Morrigan doesn't want the Chant of Light. And what's that? I can't. Okay, that's for Alistair. Okay. But this is supposed to be for Zevran. And he likes it. Um, okay, I guess we'll get the... The rare Antiven Brandy. Because that's the opposite of the Chastity Belt. We have the Pet Rock already. And the Ugly Boots. I think a fat loot. She would like that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, okay. All right, so now I will give them. Okay, actually, I'll, I'll end this one here since it's getting really long again. Um, but and after this, I'll probably I'll look at it a little more and make sure I'm doing it right or mess around with it a little bit more. But in the next one, hopefully, we can have some funny pranks going on. So uh, thanks for joining me, you guys. I'll see you in the next one.